this is Ronnie and this is a scrapbook uh, process video and that picture is a picture of Charlie that you've seen she's it's the pool and those are stickers I only use one of them the one on the bottom and the yes please collection is what most of this is and those breads are from dear Lizzie and I had them left over and I thought I'm gonna make sure I use them on some layouts those are pieces I had cut out uh, scraps from the top of the page uh, some die cuts that I cut and some of it I've outlined in black so you'll see me making the other pieces match the ones that are already cut out this is the watercolor paper bright splash and I use a blue and a yellow. And the yellow is because she has just a little tiny bit of yellow showing on her floaty tin swimsuit. And uh, I want to bring the yellow out and add another color as an accent. And here I am looking for scraps since I'm going to use it for layering. I didn't want to get a whole piece out. So I'm trying to decide which scraps I might be able to use. And picking them out I don't know if I use all those scraps but I use part of them and this is where I decided to mat the picture in yellow and I'll still use some more yellow because uh, this little bit's not enough yeah I'm gonna mat that too in the yellow just have a hint of yellow showing in the back Those uh, look like little blocks, kind of like pinwheels on a block. And I think they'd make a cute pinwheel too if you just cut them out and put bread or something with them. Oh, I, here I decided I needed some blue to go in there also to double mat the picture, I believe is what I use it for yeah that's what it is and I'm hunting my ATG gun here don't know where it's at so it does take a minute and I was not prepared that uh, blue does accent it up just gives it a hint same brings the blue from the background forward a little bit try to decide how I want to put those in this oh that and then I decided instead of just one I want more so I'm cutting out another one of the arrows long arrow I'll eventually decide I need three of them rather cut the whole thing out I remembered seeing a smaller piece and I figure I'll just layer it in there and use a couple pieces instead of one long strip yeah that's where I decided I need the third one I do like fussy cutting though yeah it adds to it just a little bit I'll get these crooked and I'll have to pull them back up but I do get them on there eventually I'm trying to look see oh <laughs> the ATG gun gets wrapped around itself so I'm having to fix it and get it started over again what I was doing, I was thinking, man, this is taking a long time, but when you speed up the video, it's not quite so bad. And I put this on a little crooked, but I don't notice it yet. And I will notice it, though, and redo it while I put that first stripe on just a little down from the top, so you're seeing some of the blue. So I wanted to bring it up a little bit so the blue won't show. Oh, 
everything's back down. Of course, it's going to come back up again because I noticed that that bigger yellow piece or the pink one isn't straight. Something's not straight, so I straighten it. And I have to pull it all up to do it. Yeah. One bad part about it is it pulls the paper off the back and tears it sometimes, but it don't do, do as bad the second time I pull up as the first time. And I do get that arrow there crooked, but I don't notice it till I'm doing the voice over the first time. Yeah, I didn't have my mic plugged all the way in, and the mic that was in use was the one on the laptop. So it was really, really low, and I couldn't hardly hear it. So I'm doing it over again with the mic. But this mic has more static in it than my old one. I might see if I can order another one somewhere that has less static. I'm trying to decide there where I want that. And I wasn't liking it there. But I like it there alright. And I like that those are clear, and so you can see like where that yellow is down there. You can see the yellow layering underneath. Oh, and this is where I pull it all up. I'm trying to decide if it's straight or not. And you'll see me lining it up with the grid. And the first time I line it up, the bottom part don't have any line where I'm looking. So I move it up and over so I can see the line from the top to the bottom and make sure it looks straighter. And yes, I should do that to start with when I first start, but I just kind of eyeball it usually and then end up pulling it up. See how quick it is up there? And I didn't notice that. Took the pictures and everything and didn't notice it, but it won't take much to fix because it's just that one piece that's crooked. And I can get it straight. And I'm digging through the little die cuts that I have. And one of them is heavier than the rest so it's not one I've cut out from the paper and I think it says you are awesome and I end up using it on there I'm not sure if where it's from I'm thinking maybe it came in the peer collection and somehow ended up with these but I'm not 100% sure if anybody knows just leave a comment below telling me if they recognize it and where it's from and uh these are the thickers I decided to use. They're called the Goodness Thickers. And goodness knows they have no intention of being sticky whatsoever. They are falling off the release paper onto the table like crazy and not sticking. Sometimes thickers stick a little bit and pretend to have stickiness. These don't even pretend. No sticky whatsoever. So yeah, I'm going to have to use some glue on them. Because that's the only way they're going to stay on my layout. And the title's Little Swimmer. And I like those letters because they are they have the ombre look. They get, they're lighter and darker and darker. And so as I was pulling them off the release paper, I'm picking the colors I want where. Because, like I said, some are lighter and some are darker. And I wanted a variety in my title. I didn't really want from the dark to the light or the light to the dark I wanted them kind of mixed up and I do like the way it turned out and it don't take long to use the glue the glue is a Lean's tacky glue and I just put a little dot here and there on the back and since it's a wet glue if you don't get it exactly straight it's pretty easy to move it right off but then it sticks pretty quick since it's a lean. It don't take long to dry. I said it turned sideways so maybe I can see the bottom of the letters to kind of line them up and get them a little straighter. The T's gave me a little bit of trouble though. I had a hard time deciding how I wanted them. And she does think she's a little swimmer. That's a floaty swimsuit, so it keeps her floating pretty good. And this is a picture right when she first got in the pool, before her hair got really wet. But yeah, it gets pretty wet. Uh, not because she's going under, because it don't have... I mean, she can't hardly go under in that suit. 
but it does have a whale in the pool and they go through the back and slide down its tongue and then right there at the bottom of the mouth it's got like a, a waterfall kind of thing so they do get pretty wet going through there and I don't know what I'm doing now. I was looking at the brads. Oh, I wanted to use one up there. And I didn't go for that. I didn't like it up there. But I laid it up there. I think I just didn't use it. And those are cut out from the paper also. And the hearts are from... I'm thinking it's my favorite things die cut. It's a small die cut. It's not very expensive. It's only like five ninety five, But it has several hearts and uh, I cut them out for a different layout and had some left over. And that die cut right there I'm putting on right now, it is uh, from the cutout tags in the paper pad. And I just fussy cut around that instead of cutting it out like a tag. And that was a sticker from... Oh, that sticker is from the Remarks booklet, but it had, I took it off to use before, and it really wasn't sticky anymore, so I did use a foam tape on it. And the foam tape I use, I get from Big Lots, and it's not very thick. Since I put quite a bit of embellishment on my pages usually, by the time the album itself gets done, it's pretty thick, so I like the tape not being as thick. Because I can always add two layers if I want it thicker. And I usually just add the one though. So my book isn't, you know, like spread out like crazy. And the banner that I used uh, was one of the scraps. Those scraps are from the top of the page where they do the top of the page a little, you know, with a different pattern paper. And I always cut them out and save them to use on banners and little things. Oh, that's where I find that um, die cut, You Are Awesome, that I don't know what, where it came from. I pulled out one of those uh, cut, cutouts, and it was actually not uh, outlined with the smash pen. So I outlined it, but everything else practically that was in that dish was already outlined so I wanted it to match the other pieces and I'm putting the heart on here and fussy cutting around it to put some yellow behind it and it's going to go as the lens on the camera and I pop dot it up I wanted it to show up a little bit better than it was showing up and here I am layering everything. And of course I have things hanging off so I'm going to have to go back. and I started to use that arrow but I didn't like it too much. And thought I won't use one. Then I changed my mind decided to use a different one. And it's not long enough to go behind the camera so I cut it in half. Since it's behind the camera you can't tell it's cut in half though. And make it just a little bit longer. And it's from a different watercolor paper. It's a much thinner watercolor paper because, like I said, it was in that dish and already cut out. The arrows are cut out from a quick cuts die cut. And this is where I'm trying to use that brad again and decide now it's a bit much up there. It's a little too heavy looking, so I don't use it. And I'm cutting off the edges. Uh, I think I'm going back to work. Oh, I decided I need a little bit of that polka dot paper down there. Since I have it at the top. And don't have any down there like it. And since it's got faux washi tape on there. I just add another piece of faux washi, washi tape. Those are some of the hearts. And I added some twine. And that's where I glue that down. You are awesome. And since I like layering, I'm adding a few more hearts to that one corner. And I also add that brad that I don't add up the top. The enamel dots I used are a light blue and a yellow. And I just scatter them through the layout. And I'm using my piercer tool to uh, 
rubbed them down with. It's kind of hard putting them down with your fingernails and picking them off there. They're just too little. They don't never want to go where you want them to go. They're hard to pick up too. But they sure do add just a little bit of color here and there to your layout. And I like that. And I like the texture because they are shiny. And I decided to go ahead and back that heart in yellow also. And uh, fussy cut it out. Yeah, I do a lot of fussy cutting on my pages. The foam tape again. And like I said, I do end up adding the bread there, but I'm not quite sure when. There it is. And I just poke all with the paper pierce right. It makes it a lot easier to put your bread through. And you just turn around, determine where you want it. And I add a couple more dots. And I think I'm done for a second there, but the more I look at that bottom left hand corner, the more I decide I need to add something. Usually enamel dots is like the last thing I add to the page, but I just wasn't satisfied with it and added just a little bit more down that corner and I'm just using my scraps some of the same colors that I used in pieces throughout the layout and putting them down there and layering them and I do use another brad of that Dear Lizzie uh, it's yellow and bring some more of the yellow down there and it's a smaller brad the other one where it's cloth this one's a m more metal one and got a stone in the middle. This is my last layout with uh, that I had in my folder waiting on getting the mic. So the next layout will be a new layout. I'll have to make it. I don't have it made yet. And so it might be a while for I have another one. Unless I get snowed in or something. It's supposed to have a nice storm tomorrow. And I already told my boss if it Still was predicting it tomorrow morning. I was going to take half a day vacation and come on home for the ice storm hit. And I'll probably take a vacation the next day because I don't like driving in ice. And here's my close-ups. Yeah, they go kind of fast when you got it speeded up. But I do have some uh, stills at the end so you can see everything and see the close-ups. And I do like that cluster right there. Well, I like them all. But uh, I want to thank you all so much for watching my videos and commenting. I love to read the comments. Uh, my little granddaughter that was in the video the other day, the smallest one, she wants to get a YouTube channel. She wants to do process videos on her layouts. Yeah, she's eight years old and wanting to do that. I said, well, I think you have to be 18 before you can get your own channel. She's not happy. She wants to get started now. She said she wants to share too. So that is so cute. She took after her mama. Anyway, this is my layout. That's Charlie Ann, the little swimmer. And I want to thank you all again for watching. Bye.